Yo, what is up? I haven't been making a lot of videos recently. Uh, that's because I've been busy doing the uh, Clan Wars thing that's been going on uh, for the last uh, couple of days or so. It's going to be going on for another week until next Sunday, but I've got a little bit of a rant. So this is kind of like a little bit of a rant video going on for today. And uh, in the meantime, let me show you the Clan War reward tanks that are, that's going on. These are the reward tanks, a 907, you've got the VKK. This is a really good tank. The top two choices, um, top three choices, the VKK, the 907, uh, the Chieftain is of course also a top choice. Uh, the third the third choice is actually the VK and then uh, maybe once you've collected them then maybe you might go for the T95 uh, uh, E6 and then after that maybe the M60 and uh, if you've got all that then maybe the 121B Chinese medium tank uh, but like I said today is kind of a bit of a rant and uh, that's because we're going to cover a little bit about the black market and then a little bit about the sandbox and then what is wrong with clan wars so let's get started with the black market now first of all the black market was kind of a bit of a disappointment because um, although you've had the same amount of solid tanks that you got from compared to the the previous black market I mean you have a decent amount of tanks here but um, in terms of the the, the filler tanks or the tanks that are not the most desirable tanks uh, it seems like the first black market was a lot better because in the first black market the less desirable tanks were still good tanks they were like alpine tiger the pz4 hydrostat which is really collectible and only 6.5 million silver uh, you had the pz2j 15,000 gold kind of expensive but highly collectible troll tank and then you had the alpha pz 54 5500 gold a real bargain uh, that's a real op, OP tank for 5500 gold although it's tier 5 and then you had the Fosh 155 on top of the 215b uh, 183 so uh, the con general consensus is people don't, didn't want didn't enjoy this black market as much as the previous black market people were expecting stuff you know like um the 3d camos from the um uh from the christmas loot boxes maybe you know the e4 camo um the the e100 3d skin the 430u 3d skin things like that because the last christmas uh, the last black market you had the camouflage skins uh, tier 10 for 14,000 gold you had four skins right uh, which was the um, T57 the bad chat uh, the IS7 the grilly so that was like a lot better deal so that's why sandbox was kind of like shitty and people hated it but let's move on let's talk about sandbox now what can i say about sandbox uh i've already bitched about this in my last video but let's keep let's keep this fast and let me uh, let me sum it up for you now people like that a bunch of tanks are being removed uh, especially the low tier ones are being removed and put into the collectible thing people like that but but some tanks uh, from tier 6 to tier 10s like the um T62A, the AMX30, AMX30B, uh, those are being going to be removed and be put in, going to be sold for gold. So that's kind of really weird and people don't like that. Um, I don't understand why they want to do that, but uh, that's one of the things we don't like about Sandbox. Also, ammo balance. Um, I don't know what kind of balance it is. Uh, only thing I can see happening from that is people having to shoot more gold ammo in order to keep up. Uh, not only, not only you need to shoot more gold ammo, you also need to shoot more standard ammo in the new sandbox, so-called balancing. Uh, I don't think it's really balanced because all it does is make you shoot even more AP and even more premium rounds. Uh, yes, you can do more damage with your AP rounds, but what good is your AP rounds if you can't pen? Now imagine if you were tier 8 matched up in a tier 10 matchmaker. As it is, you can't 
pen them what use is my more damage ap shells gonna do if i can't pen tier 10 tanks i can't even pen tier 10 tanks with gold rounds so what use is more more ap more damage in my ap shells if i can't pen and when i can pen with my gold rounds i'm doing 20 percent less damage which means i need to fire more man this is ridiculous this this sandbox shell balancing thing they are made by people who don't play the game i am utterly convinced that these people making these changes they don't play this game is it going to attract new players how is it going to attract new players if if the old players aren't enjoying it if the old players are being turned away and want to uninstall the game and want to quit the game and want to leave the game how are you going to attract new players now recently uh, war gaming hired pewdiepie they hired um dr disrespect lyric and friends all these famous youtubers and twitch streamers to try out the game and play the game live on twitch and all of them ended up playing uh without any consumables they played without any uh premium shells they had they had no idea how the game works they just dive straight into it i mean wargaming didn't even set up an account for them to teach them at least how to use uh premium equipment how to use premium shells how to set up their crew training nothing just let them play and they never went back to the game after their sponsorship deal right they just took their twenty thousand thirty thousand dollars sponsorship deal and then played the game for one hour two hours and then forget about the game so that's how exciting world of tanks is to people that are not familiar with world of tanks games uh, instead of making the game simple and easy to understand and straightforward they're making it complicated and difficult to understand people just don't like it uh, people don't like the way sandbox is working people don't like the way current the, the way the current game is working so it's terrible please change and clan wars let's move on to clan wars clan wars i have played clan wars season one up to season 13 and we are now season 14 or whatever and if you take a look at the landing page for the current clan wars um, season which is the dawn of industry or whatever you want to call it look at the rules and regulation and if you you scroll through it slowly you can you can see look at the how much i need to scroll down and and basically need i basically need look there's workshop shit there's experimental modules all these things are not uh, they're not going to be turning any new players on to it uh, this thing is just confusing there are so many things you need to know there are so many things you need to learn look at the amount of rules improvements for clans research points and investment laboratory clan bonuses technologies what the fuck is all this why do i need to know so many things why can't i spend my time playing the game instead of learning about event bonuses and technologies available front basic advanced elite why do i need to know all that i just want to play i just want to earn the rewards i just want to have fun i don't want to be a math genius i don't want to know what fame points uh plus times battle t c e l o event value c team xp divide by battle xp times team size i don't want to know all that crap i just want to play why can't you just make it simple for me look at all this crap that i you need to learn in order to participate in clan wars you need to know all this shit. look i'm still scrolling i'm still going down there's still more shit i need to learn why does it have to be this way why can't it be simple every time you play clan wars you have to come up with all kinds of shit even the simple even the basic clan wars shit this is your clan wars portal from your in-game uh user interface and look at that you've got training unit financial unit artillery battalion you need to upgrade all of these one by one then you need to learn what this crap does you need to invest into it you need to build this up why why does this need to happen why can't it be simple and straightforward now if you look at the click on the latest um event which is dawn of industry you click on it and you're like what is this now you have workshop now you have to build a shit i need to build one by one all these things just to get my free tank why can't i just earn it why can't you do it for me and let me earn it by the 
by the time I qualify, I earn it immediately. I don't need to worry about vehicle production, material depot. I don't need to know about all this kind of shit. And then I don't want to know about all these fame points that I need to reinvest my personal fame points I need to reinvest it so that I can add another 30% additional fame points I don't need to do all this mathematics and all this um, gymnastics in my head I just want to play the game and have fun I don't want to know how many points it takes to get this to do this I don't want to I don't need I don't want to need to know how much fame points I have what my current bonus I don't want to know all this shit I just want to play I just want to have fun look at this vehicle modernization now you can add whatever heavy charges or put additional to, to beef up your tank why do i need all these headaches how am i how is war gaming going to attract a new younger players people that have short span of attention um new players people who don't know if they want to invest uh, this much time and energy into a game that they may or may not play in the next month or two why do i need to go through why do i need to jump through so many hoops uh, just to earn some of these uh, benefits that uh being in a clan or being active in clan wars uh why do i need to get involved and learn all these things uh to earn all these rewards uh, when I don't don't even know if I really like this game. Um, basically making me jump through hoops just to earn this little bit of bonuses uh, that you get uh, from being in a clan. I don't think it's worth it for any kind of new player. Any kind of new player is completely turned off by all these intricacies and all this, um, you know, just too much stuff for you to think of other than playing the game why can't you just make it like you play the game you earn this you play the game you earn this and that's it why does it have to or oh, you've got to combine this and this to make this then you've got to invest your points in order to upgrade your command center so that you can activate bonuses that are 30 percent instead of 20 percent why do i need to know all that why can't you just make it simple click through easy for a beginner or a professional to understand okay that's the end of my rant anyway i hope i did not um you know go on too much but i hope you understand i don't complain a lot all the time or too much but uh, when I do, uh, I really want to let it out. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.